Welcome to an introduction to Wu Style Tai Chi Chuan. My name is Edna Silva. I'm your guide for this program. I'm a registered nurse with 50 years experience in nursing. I'm also founder of the Tai Chi Center in Tucson, Arizona. The center is dedicated to the practice and teaching of classic Wu Style Tai Chi for the purpose of maintaining good health and a grateful heart. I'm also co-founder together with Dr. Charles Katzenberg, a preventive cardiologist of the Foundation for Cardiovascular Health, a nonprofit dedicated to preventing, halting, and reversing coronary artery disease through comprehensive lifestyle practices. Tai Chi originated in China. It's one of the practices for internal martial arts. There are five forms of Tai Chi Chuan. There's Yang style, Chen style, Wu Hao, Wu, and Sun style. These forms share the basic fundamentals. Every movement in all forms of Tai Chi has a practical purpose and a function of self-defense. The name Tai Chi means the greatest utmost or the grand terminus. Chuan means fist. So Tai Chi Chuan is a powerful martial art. Unlike the hard or external schools of martial arts, Tai Chi uses the mind, not force. It's first and foremost a cultivation of mind and Qi. Qi is translated as life force. Tai Chi became public in the early 1900s. Until then, it was a secret practice among military families and monks in monasteries. It was introduced to the people of China in order to improve health. The practice was slowed in speed and many of the jumps and stamping were deleted. Grandmaster Yang Chen Fu, a Yang stylist, and Wu Chinchuan, a Wu stylist, were the masters who introduced these forms to the public. The first graduating class of Tai Chi practitioners was in Beijing in 1914. This was the beginning of a new era, allowing the public to learn Tai Chi openly and easily. In the 1950s, the government determined that Tai Chi was good and encouraged the practice. Today, you can see millions of people practicing Tai Chi outdoors every day in China. In the last 20 years, from 1994 to 2014, there have been at least 700 studies done on the health benefits of Tai Chi. The studies show improvements in balance and coordination with a reduction in falls for senior populations. In addition, a positive result on the immune system specifically for flu and shingles, as well as reduction in blood pressure and positive effects on the cardiovascular system. There are many benefits. It impacts the physical body as well as emotional and mental. You may have heard the term Qigong and wonder what it is or if it is the same as Tai Chi. Qi, as I stated, means life force, and gong means work or cultivation. Qigong is an umbrella term that means cultivation of life force. There are literally millions of qigongs. Qigong can be classified into five categories. Buddhist, Taoist, Confucius, Medical, and martial arts. Tai Chi is a martial art Qigong. Tai Chi is a gentle system of body movements which can be adapted to any population by an experienced teacher who has a wide knowledge of body mechanics and physical limitations, particularly with persons who have medical conditions. General guidelines I use are ask your doctor for activity guidelines. Do not do anything that hurts. Stop if you get tired and you can learn from watching. Special populations who are undergoing treatment such as chemotherapy need to pay particular attention to their bodies and not become fatigued. 
During acute phases of treatment, meditation and relaxation practices can be the first step towards practicing Tai Chi. Tai Chi for Health is not a competition or a sparring match. Tai Chi is not a dance, although it appears fluid and graceful. Choosing a teacher is much like choosing other practitioners, for example, through word of mouth, advertisements, convenience of location. In addition, I suggest you look for someone who has a deep knowledge and love of the art, and most importantly, that you feel good when you are in class. No lift tickets, no special clothes or equipment are necessary. Wear comfortable clothes and shoes when you practice Tai Chi, and also socks or bare feet can work nicely. Be careful of the floor and do not use footwear that slides or grips and inhibits pivots and turning. Tai Chi belongs to each and every individual who has a commitment and practices the moves. A teacher can teach you and guide you, but you alone can cultivate your chi. Most classes last one hour. We are fortunate today to have Master Zhao Shunming from China. Master Zhao is both a Kung Fu master and a Tai Chi master. He will demonstrate short versions, Chen and Yang style forms.
Yang and Chen are both called large frame forms. Wu style, which I will demonstrate and describe, is called a small frame form. Wu style is also called the elegant style and is widely acknowledged in China for health benefits.
This video can assist you in your Tai Chi practice. However, it is necessary to learn from a qualified teacher. Thank you for your kind attention.